Big Z Reviews. Motherland, Fort Salem, is a new uh, urban fantasy military school uh, show that uh, was on a free form, but also I watched it on Hulu. Like, they premiered it on each, the same night, while, you know, week by week. And it is a really good show. It's something you don't really see a lot of on TV. There's only one battle. The one between us and them. It is just the beginning. So essentially this is an alternate history where witches were real. And they traveled to America, and then they decided to use their powers to help America break free from England. And, like, so everything is different now. Like, and uh, the one character is, like, still alive today. And that's uh, General Sarah Adler, played by Lynn Renee. And, like, she was back in the, in, you know, the, the war for independence. Like, she, American Revolution... Like, she used her powers to, like, to make storms and to to defeat the British. And then now, like, there's a lot of stuff, like, it's funny, there's, they are very, they're light on the world building. And I kind of like that, at the same time, I kind of find it annoying. But, you know, this is, this is, like, a, the show is kind of aimed at, like, adolescents, you think, kind of, you know, it's like teenagers. But, like, adults can still like it. But, you know, that's freeform. It's kind of, I think most of the shows are kind of like that. But, um, like, they they are very light in the world, but there's, like, no info dumps. Like, you get, like, a, a bits here and here about what their powers are and what the how the world is different. But the idea that is important for this show is that there are these terrorists that are also witches, and they're, like... And they put these sounds in the, as a balloon that then pops. And then, like, every human around, a regular person around it will kill themselves. And, like, it's kind of like, um, and they are fighting them across the world, like, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Because, like, other powers around the world also have other witches and stuff. But, like, there's, like, you, the main characters you follow are uh, Taylor Hickson as Rael Collar. And um, uh, Jessica Sutton as Tally Craven and Ashley Nicole Williams as Abigail Bellwether. And they're like, they become a team and they, they like a coven kind of like, and they have to, you know, they, they're at this military school. Like this school that they, they become witches, they, to become like, you know, and, and they have to, you know, learn everything. And, and I, I, I have a soft spot for fantasy school stuff. Like some, like some of my favorite series ever, like um, like uh, Patrick Rothfuss, King Killer Chronicles, have like a magic college, and of course, you know Harry Potter, you know, with the magic school. I love other stuff too. That like magic schooling, I have a soft spot in my heart for that, and this kind of hit that spot a little bit. Like, and of course, there's other stuff going on because uh, the love interest for Taylor Hickson is. Amalia Holm as uh, Scylla Ramshorn, and she may or may not be a secret agent for this terrorist group. And I like her character. Stuff they do with her is cool. I think the biggest problem, though, is that at the beginning, like, she can do a thing like she burns her face off and, like, changes her face to look like someone else. And in the beginning of the show, you see her murdering, like, as a terrorist, 500 humans. And it's like, and then you're supposed to, uh, that's, that's, that's the way they introduce her. And then later on, like, most of she's, you're supposed to kind of like her. Like, you don't like what she's doing, but, like, you're kind of there for her and maybe the, the the love relationship she has with the other main character. But, like, at, at, every time they she was there, it's like, yeah, yeah, I kind, she, I kind of like her, but she did murder 500 humans, 500 people. So, she's a bad person and needs to be killed. So, yeah. You know, it's like the whole time, like, they try to do, like, a, they might do a redemption arc, or they might, you know, stuff is going on there. But the whole time, I think, I'm, but, like, if they hadn't shown her uh, doing a terrorist attack in a mall, you know, 
But I mean, that's that's that was a crazy way to open the show, and that's why they did that, you know. But it's just, <laughs> I don't know, like how to feel about the character. She's always going to be tainted. But I mean, there's there's a lot of good stuff in this, and the the actresses are are really good. And I mean, some of the drama is a, sometimes a little heavy on the drama, but you know, I mean, it's. I don't mind that. I, I, can, I can get by with that. You know, when it gets to the fun, you know, magic stuff. It's, it's a lot good here. And I haven't really heard anyone talk about this show, but it is an excellent show. I would highly recommend. Probably give like an 8.75, maybe even a 9 out of 10. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. But uh, thanks for watching. You should go play that through my head. And it's guys going to be over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z TV show review. Thanks for watching.